Um, well, before I start this video, stupid flies, before I start this video, please give this video a big thumbs up if you like me, and uh, please give this video a big thumbs up if your parents or whoever you live with um, are always telling you, use a coaster, and you guys don't have any coasters or anything like that. Well, and they keep telling you, oh, then just go buy some. You don't have money. Gotta have that dough. Anyway, um, I hope you guys like this video because today I'm teaching you how to make homemade coasters. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is draw three or four or five or how many min or however many circles you want on your paper. Oh, by the way, you're going to need tape, paper, and scissors. Oh, and, and, and a pen or a pencil, whichever one. Anyway, um, anyway, back to the video. You're going to want to draw your, um, your circles on your paper and uh you know make them big enough so that they'll fit a drink i mean i <sighs> these are pretty big circles for me since how on my other hey hey since how on my other videos i actually um anyway on my other coasters i actually made these pretty small so these are pretty big circles for me Anyway, second step, you want to cut them out, which I think is probably the easiest part of this entire operation. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ah, there we go. Anyway, let's just remove this paper. Anyway, so you have these, right? Now you want to take your materials, so... Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, let's now we want to draw a design. Oh, there we go. I know it's not even close to Easter yet, but yeah, you want to just draw designs on all of your little pieces of papers. I'll grab those. Mm -hmm. Now let's get the designs, or you can draw like words, or you can you can just leave them blank if you want. Let's get those done. Okay, so we have all of our little designs. So you're probably wondering. Well, Jennifer, um, now what are we going to do, since how we already have basically the coasters made, that's where the tape comes in. What you want to do is you want to tape, like, around it so that it's, like, nice and hard and flat so that it's not all bendy. And plus, you know, water or condensation or whatever plus paper means ripping, um, ripping coasters. So, yeah. So, let's get that done. Okay, there we go. Now this is an optional choice once it's all taped up. Um, whoa, okay. See this extra like extra tape on the edges? Um, you can cut that off if you want to, like you don't have to, but I would recommend doing it because it makes it look a lot neater, but you, you, know, you know, you don't have to. Now, if you're wondering like, how did you get the entire thing covered with tape? I actually didn't. If you can see, there's still like paper hanging out here. That's because I just put tape where the drink is going to be. So, like, I put a piece here, and then I put a piece there. So, I didn't actually get it completely, you know, beautiful and, you know, covered up with tape. Anyway, so that's all I have for you guys today. I don't know what that was, but, yep, this is how you make homemade coasters. Um, You can cut the extra tape off on the edges. I hope you guys liked this very creative video. It took me a while to make plus editing and stuff, so please give this a thumbs up if you're getting, you know, bugged to use coasters all the time, and please give this another thumbs up if you're about to start school, which I know a lot of people are, so if you're watching my videos right now, a lot of people, then you might as well give this a thumbs up. So I'm going to give you three seconds, I'm going to give you to take three seconds to like this video. One, two, three. Have you liked it yet? Yeah, okay. That's all I have, so bye-bye.